and so on. Yeah, we, we understand that that God is yeah. revealing himself and prophecy reveals Jesus but, but Christ Jesus, as the Messiah. Jesus really never said to uh, worship him and like uh, you guys do. Um, 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 if, okay, only, is, Jesus, until, is Jesus Christ God? Forget about whether you think he's worthy of worship. Uh, is he God? He, he's, he's uh, listen, I'm going to put it this way. So there's the Father, the Almighty God. Okay, Father, okay is Jesus Father. the Almighty, yes or no? He, he's his son, is, Lord. I mean, it's a yes or no question. Is Jesus the Almighty? Well, he he's he has the power uh, as far as uh, I'm concerned. Yes, <laughs> Kevin, I think he's just listen, avoiding. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not. He, I'm not saying. Hey, hold on, Jerry, shut up. Do you, do you know this? Do you know this guy, no. Kevin? Maybe you can deal yeah, with him. So, this guy's name is Yuri. He's a pagan. He is publicly <laughs> alone. No, I'm serious. He, um, praise oh, his channel. He's publicly Kevin, sad. Kevin, what, what is the word? Up. What is, shut up, the pagan. Of shut the up, pagan. pagan. You're a pagan. You're the meaning of pagan. Look it up. What, what's, the, what's, <laughs> what's the meaning of the word pagan first? No, no, no. Don't no. try to change the subject because we're talking about the mother of all questions. Who do you say that I am? Here comes the, the same hate, question man, that Jesus you. asked his disciples. And your answer, your answer seems to be a little uh, shaky to me biblically. Uh, How? You're saying... You, well, you seem to be giving me well, obligatory. Prove it to me biblically. Show it to me biblically. Word what do you Jesus. want me to show you biblically? You haven't made a claim. Yeah. What do you Go want? Ahead. Is you Jesus? Well, Jesus Kevin's Jesus. claiming. Kevin's claiming something. I guess is he Jesus, wants to show is Jesus the that Almighty. He believes that the sun that's in the sky is God. The literal sun that warms the earth. <laughs> yeah, that's God. Yeah. Said uh, that open up Psalm verse eighty-four, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. chapter whoa. eighty-four, whoa. verse whoa. eleven. All right. Psalm we eighty-four, eleven. Open it up and read. Okay, so before God created, was Jesus with God in the beginning, before creation? Colossians one seventeen. Are you saying it was the Holy Spirit with the Yes, he was. Stop being dishonest. Yes. I asked you if Jesus Christ was before all things. Did he exist before anything else was created? Yes or no? Mm, yes. Okay, so he existed before creation. Yes. Okay, so so he existed with the Father, and he created the, all things. His his spirit, yes, yes. His spirit, yes. So it's, his it's, spirit he, created he, all things. See, the Father, he's the Lord of hosts. He's the Lord of all spirits. Okay, so right? how many creators do we have? He's we know the who the Lord Father of is. Our spirit. So okay, you're, he's, you're not educating us yes. any, any any more than what we already know. Okay. I'm asking yeah. you a series of questions to try to get to understand what your doctrine is concerning sure. Christ. So sure. he's there with God in the beginning, and he's also the one who creates. Correct? Jesus Christ is he the creator? Let me ask you this: uh, what Was was the devil there? W was Satan Here, there? Did Jesus, Jesus create all things? Just answer the question. Or, or was did Jesus this a, Christ a create mystery? all things? Or was this a mystery? Did Jesus Christ create all things in the beginning? I'm and then I ask you, I ask you another question: Did was Satan there? <laughs> was Satan there with Jesus before Jesus was born? <laughs> Or was Satan? Well, you're, uh, no, 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 no. You're Satan, going. Satan, Satan not knowing. Why are you asking me what's happening? Because it was happening? part of a Father's mystery. I'm That's asking I'm you saying. about creation. Before Satan existed, he wasn't created yet. You said that Jesus Christ was in existence before anything else was created, or yes. anything was created. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, so then Jesus Christ created you and everything else. Uh, his father, the host of spirits, uh, the, the Lord, a of host spirits. of spirit, the Lord his... of spirits, uh, Lord of spirits. Okay. Who created the father created? Did the son also the, create the, the listen? The father is the host of all spirits. Mm. Okay. His, I'm asking he, about creation. Who created? That's, that's creation. The father Who created. Create, did Jesus Christ create all things? Who created Jesus? <laughs> um, you told me no one because you said that he was there in the beginning. So you're saying that he's not created. So I'm well, asking his, you. Listen, he was there in spirit with with the Father at the beginning. He was correct? there in until, spirit? Until he, yes. Until, well, what, until what was he, he supposed was to be there in the body? 
into Mary. In, that is in spirit. So you're not. You're not. You're not moving the proverbial ball forward by saying he was there in spirit. He existed with the Father in the beginning, and he created all things. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So then you yeah. believe that Jesus is God, because there's only one Creator. So you Correct, can't have yes. two creators. So Jesus is God. Sure, you, yeah. you, yes. So why are you rebelling against the Christians when they teach these things and coming up with concepts that you don't even hold to? Hold on. Because Jesus was a mystery. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm serious. It was, what, what, wait, it was why a, are you talking about a it mystery? Was a mystery? You just gave the me reason, the answer. You listen, just gave the me it, the mystery. He exists. It's not a mystery. It, Colossians 1 is clear. It, uh, it Revelation wasn't revealed 1. to us until... Uh, until just until, shut, shut up. It didn't, it's until not a it mystery. actually happened. It is. It's not a mystery. You just told me. You just told me what it was. It's not a mystery. <laughs> not anymore, but it was a mystery. Listen, it was a mystery but because it was hidden from the devil. The mystery was hidden from the devil until it actually uh, it, it happened and, and he was crucified. Okay, so if and Jesus he wrote, is the creator, if Jesus is the creator, doesn't that make him almighty? Yes. Okay, so what's what's the problem, Kevin? What's the problem with this guy? So you no, believe that way, Jesus is God, right? It's the way I understand it. It's, it's, so it's is Jesus God? Is Jesus God? He's the Son of God. Yes. Okay, so he's not. He's not the Word of Spirits. If that's what you're asking me, Yuri, is, is, is Jesus the, Christ the is Jesus Christ, Christ is not the Lord of Spirits? I'm done with this guy, Kevin. You you you, you talk to Yuri, him. Is Jesus Christ Jehovah in the flesh? He's not the Lord of Spirits. <laughs> what? Wait, but you just admitted that Jesus Christ created everything, but now he's not the Lord? He was with the Lord of Spirits. Jesus no. was. Because his spirit... No, was, listen. No, he's no, also listen. known as the listen host. John, what, shut up. John 1, Lord of hosts, starting yes. at verse 1, says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word yes. was with God. And yes. the word was God. And, you and skip who, down the first four. And, and what do you call the God? What do you call God? Be quiet, Before we go anywhere Church further, what do you call God? God? Hang on. Skip down to verse 14. And it says the word became flesh and dwelt among us. Speaking about Jesus. John calls Jesus God. He says he is God in the flesh. Jehovah in flesh. But when you was John it? born? When was John born? What does that have to do with anything? It has to he was do with inspired a lot of things, by man. the Holy Spirit to write Scripture. This is Holy Scripture. This is the words of God. These aren't necessarily the words of John. God, John is the pen that God used to write down what he wanted to be said. Who, who gave Jesus his spirit? No one gave Jesus his spirit. His, his spirit no is one? God. He is God. You sure? Yes. God has who no sent, beginning. Who, who, sent, who, sent, who sent the dove to descend on him when he was getting baptized? Himself. He sent it himself? Yes, Father, Son, and Spirit, one God. Or maybe somebody from the sky said, hey, this is the, the son that I'm proud of. The Father, the Son, and the Holy let's, Spirit are three read, persons and one God. You want to read that passage with me together? No, I really don't. Of course not. You want to know why? Because you're an ignorant scumbag that doesn't listen to anything. It's like talking to a brick wall. I'd rather, you know, what? I'd rather smash my head up against a wall than talk to you anymore. Actually, I'm going to give you a verse out of uh, out of the Bible that's going to maybe all open, you know, open up. Right, so, so, now, so now I have to listen yeah, to the I'm, devil. No, I'm just going to. You, you, you see, you call me names, but you don't want to like even answer to what I'm saying here. You pagan. You admitted you believe that the sun in the sky yeah, is I'm God. I'm a pagan. I'm a country believer. That's what pagan means. That's a, a country person that believes in something that lives in the country. That's the meaning of the word pagan. Look. Why do you have different definitions? You, you why do you use different definitions for same words? That's a typical cultist, right? They they'll use similar words 
to what Christians will use, but then they attach a different definition to it. I want you to read First Timothy chapter 2, verse 5. You read it. Read it to me. It's the New Testament. I don't have it in front of me. Read it. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 5. Yeah, I don't have my Bible. Read it. Yeah, First Timothy chapter 2, verse 5. Let me see if I can pull that up for you. Uh, what is it that you wanted to glean from that passage? First, First Timothy chapter 2, verse 5. Okay, First Timothy chapter two, verse five. For there is one God, and there is one mediator, um, the man Jesus Christ, the man Christ okay. Jesus. Well, I'm not sure. Read King James version, KJV version. Okay, let me let me put it on the screen. Um, for there is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man, Jesus Christ. That's First Timothy for chapter 2, verse 5. Chapter 2, verse 5, okay? All right, what do you want to teach us from this verse? But what does that mean to you? Just that. There is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man so who, Christ who's, Jesus. Who, who's Jesus? Jesus Christ is the God man. Amen. So or does it say you're, God man? Or, or does it say you told me he was the God man when you said he created everything? <laughs> you told me he was God. He was he was with God. Oh God, now he was with God. So um, that's with why God. I ask you listen, I ask oh. you about what does the word God mean to you? I knew he would and back I, down. What's what's no the, no what's no the, you know, what uh, the word uh -huh. listen, the word God, what does it mean to you? Uh -huh. What does it mean? Creator. What's the meaning to you? Creator. But what names do you know the, the word God to go by? Like besides like Jehovah Creator. or uh, you know Adonai or other names. Creator. He, has, he, he call, he's called by one name many times in the Bible, Lord Creator. of Hosts. He's the Lord of Hosts. Or the Lord of, Lord Lord, of Armies. Yes. Lord of Spirits. Lord of he's Armies. The, He's the Lord, Lord of, of Spirits. Has nothing to do with spirits. It's the Lord of Armies, meaning that He controls the armies of on the earth. Yes, there's a spiritual aspect to that, but Lord of Hosts simply means Lord of Armies. He can send the Babylonians to sack the Israelites when they mess up. He can send the Assyrians to sack today, them when they mess up. I don't want to even bring he this up because the heart of the none king. of us okay? has. So, so what does this passage mean to you? You think because it's saying the man Christ it, it Jesus that he's a mediator he, between God yes, and us. He's, he's a mediator, of course. Yes. We don't yes. we don't disagree with that. But it also says he's the he's man. Not. He's the man. Oh, so, oh, so he, he he's also the says man. He, he, he's oh, the man. Okay. Why is he the man? Why he is, is he a man. man. He, he was. He was. He, he was in the flesh. Hundred percent man and hundred percent God. He's forever the God man, actually. Mm hmm. Did you know that? Yeah. Okay. So he at one point took a body. Before he took a body, he created everything. So you just told us that Jesus is God. There's only one creator. Now you're Amen. saying that he just was I there. Wanna, but I want to I wanna bring the- I Was wanna, he hanging I, out in the kitchen when God was creating? Well, where was he? I, I don't want, I'm gonna bring something When the father was guys. creating, what was because, Jesus doing? Uh, I'm going to take this to a different place right now. No, you're not. Because when the Father did, was once, creating, once I did what did Jesus do? Place. What was Jesus doing? Was he participating? You, you guys are going to be tempted like you're going to be tempted. You say, like, hey, hey, Jesus, go hand me that crowbar. What, what, what was that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got to open up this black hole. I take you to a can't open. I got to open up this black hole. Once I take you to a different place, uh -huh. uh, in why, are you, why are you trying to take me to a different place? Uh, where is scripture? Something might happen. Iniquity might be found in you. <laughs> where do you find these guys, Kevin? Kevin can find oh, me I if don't. you look he, for he, it. He, you know where these guys come from, Joe? These are Dave, the new Unix apostles. We got him. We got Dirty Varmin in the chat. I mean, we, we this is we're just full of... Uh, yeah. So, yeah. so... 
when you when you just admitted that God that Jesus Christ is the creator, how can you therefore now read this passage? But what if I was to tell you on, what if I was on, to tell you a little secret? Yeah, let me make that you're point. also a creator. Let me make oh boy, here we go. All right. So after telling us, because you can't deny what what Colossians one teaches or Colossians two, I'll take you to telling Genesis. us that Jesus I'll, is created all things. Yes. How can you now suggest that he's merely a man because you read the man Christ Jesus in First Timothy? How does well, that? How do you harmonize those two concepts? If you so, do so at all, if you if you believe in Jesus Christ and he says that he will rise us up, how do you think he's going to rise us up? Same way he rose up Jesus. Okay, answer my question, please. You just told us earlier that Jesus Christ created everything. He is the creator of everything. Yes. We understand that to be out of and nothing. And so are we. And so okay. are we. So how then do you read this verse and suggest that when Timothy or Paul says here, the man Christ Jesus, that he is somehow de demoting Christ to that of a man? Have you ever, was any man present when the created the creation happened? Was any man present? Yes. Any human being? Yes. Who is that? All of us. Everything, right. every, see every, every man that was made in his image when God, uh, when he put the, the, the life of, when he brought the breath to our right. nostrils, he, when he put, uh, let's go to Genesis. I'll tell you which word. No, no, no. I'm talking before Genesis. In the beginning, God. You yes. said Jesus Christ was there and that he created everything we see, the birds, yeah, but, but we all come from the Lord of hosts. We all come from God, all of us. Okay. Every spirit in okay. this universe that's alive. Well, where did Jesus Christ come from? Same spirit. When no. was he created? No. <laughs> now we got Dirty Varmint in here. What's what's going on, Dirty? No. Dirty. What's up? What do you have to say? I think Just you guys no got it all backwards. Or talk about the Bible with Dirty Vomit because... He rips the Bible in half and throws it out. Yeah, he rejects you, Paul. He rejects parts of the Old Testament. Like this, that, there's that's no how you convert atheists. There's yeah. no point in talking to It's an easy way to uh, convert atheists, that's for sure. You just say, what you know, when they say, oh, God murdered a bunch of babies, you just say, no, that part was a lie. And they go, no, oh, that, okay, how do I become a Christian? No, that's a straw man because it's not murder. No, God it's easy. They, they convert when you, once you tell them the truth. No, God, the humans that existed at the time during Genesis chapter 6 all deserve to be wiped out. Their hearts were only on evil continually. God was perfectly just in taking them all out. What about the firstborn sons of Egypt? Good. What about them? What about them? You think God punishes somebody that uh, had nothing to do with it? What are you talking about? Do you know the Bible says that by one man's sins all were made sinners? Yeah, Paul said that the liar and anti the Holy Spirit. Not, well, see, there that's your problem. God, God reserves the right to judge humanity for their sinfulness at any Let, time. Let's go to it. Genesis Shut chapter up, one, verse hey, twenty-six. Hey, hey, urine, be quiet, Joe. God. God, shut up. God can choose to uh, judge humans for their sinfulness at any time he so chooses. And he is perfectly righteous and just and holy in doing so. You have a problem with that. No, I don't. That's yes, you fine. do. No, that's no, fine. You, you obviously have a problem with that. I think, God, uh, I think God does righteous judgment on people all the time, and he, especially you in the what? Old Testament. God is but God stroke you dead right the now. The firstborn sons Justin in Egypt didn't do nothing wrong. You are a rebel against his word. You haven't trusted him. No, no I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it. You can't, Welcome, how Dave. can you fix the perfect word of God? Dave is here, the newest unit. How can you Thanks assume that the Bible is inspired, inerrant word of God? It the Bible itself says that it has lies in it. So you're pretty stupid. See, no, not you to just lied. You just told a lie. No, it, no. I, Jeremiah eight eight says that there's lies in the Bible. It's plain <laughs> and simple. I mean, and no, if you think the whole no, Bible is 100 percent correct, then you've got a problem here. How do you how do you reconcile that verse? The the Bible doesn't say that the Bible contains lies. If yes, it contains it does. Lies, have you even read it? Jesus also said the Bible had a bunch of lies in it. Do you even read this the Bible? No, it, 
What are you talking about? Jesus never said yeah, that. Yes, he did. No, he, he said, did. you heard of eye, eye for an eye, but I say turn the other cheek. He's saying eye for an eye was a lie, dude. No. Yes. No. Yes. He's making a distinguishment between what he was bringing, which was the new covenant versus the old no, covenant. Jesus said, I came not to abolish. Well, not one jot or one tittle will be abolished from the law until heaven and earth pass away. But he abolished the hell out of eye for an eye because it was never part of the law. So dirty oh, vermin, no. are you, dirty vermin, are you telling the truth? It said it yeah. is finished. Yes. He completed it. Tell us, he, what he else? Well, 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 by the way, I just want to come in here and ask a quick question about who are my apostles? Oh, uh, Yuri and um, uh, Numi. Is that a fact? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, the, uh, <laughs> they're the, the news unit's apostles. So you think I sent them or something? And I ordained them? Well, you did call him Father Jerlo or whatever you called him. Yeah, you know why I called him Father Jerlo because <coughs> I got a cold today. Hang on. <coughs> he, he started the Jesus Red Letters Only. That's what the Jerlo meant, J-R-L-O, Jesus Red Letters Only. But whose idea was that, David? Father Jerlo? Well, I did ordain you as Father Jerlo. Yeah, yeah, but uh, the red letters only. Who who thought of that? You. I did. Yeah, and you thought the first pack of red letters in the Bible is suffer now, but it's not. It's actually in Luke when Jesus was in the temple. I was just kidding about that, David. Right, sure, I know. Suffer all the but what's with all this running to and fro with every wind of doctrine and you getting back into the weak and beggarly elements of the world and all this stuff? You can't get enough of this stuff. You run over... By the 12, 24 Jesus planets, you're running around with every wind of doctrine all the time. What's going on with you? I'm seeking the Lord, man. You ain't seeking nothing. You're seeking there familiar you go, we're doctrines, doing, doctrines of devils and everything we're imaginable. Start. And I keep telling you this over and over again, and you're not listening. Let, let's open up Genesis chapter 1. No, let's not open up Genesis. Let's open up Ephesians 4.11. And warnings and exhortations from the Apostle Paul about all this kind of crap you're involved yeah, in. Yeah, let's open up Apostle Paul. No, let's not. Apostle Paul. Oh, you dirty farmer. Yeah, you don't even know the Lord. You have not the spirit the of Christ. You're none yeah. of his. You call the Lord a liar. That's enough of you right there. No, I don't even guys, want to talk to you. You can go to your own place as far as I'm Paul, not Jesus. <laughs> you, you follow Paul. He's your God. Paul is your you're father. You're dirty, bro. You're not even. You're not even. Like, you're like ver you're vermin to me. You're First just a vermin. First Corinthians four fifteen. Just a filthy vermin piece of garbage. Says that Paul is your father, <laughs> and, and, and you're an un ungodly <laughs> reprobate. Nothing. Why you, do you, you say you're, that? You're just a. You, you're, you have not the spirit of Christ. You're none of His. That's all. Why do you say that? Now Yuri, on the other hand, he does believe on the Lord Jesus, but he's been dabbling around. And all this garbage with sad guru and happy gurus and every kind of guru. And oh, hey, what, 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 what do you think was Yuri believing I, about the Jesus of the Bible? I said, yeah. I said that about Yuri first time speaking to him that he's he's influenced heavily by some Gnostic doctrine or someone promoting it. And then these other lead clowns that got every wind of doctrine coming around telling you that there's lies in the Bible, like this guy here. There's a lot yeah, of. Yeah, no, clowns I tell you everywhere. the truth, dude. It's lies in the you Bible. Don't know the Where, first where's the thing about the Bible? News oh. unit. Uh -huh. Where are you to talk? I'll have a. I'll bet you a hundred thousand smacking dollars that I could whip you in the Bible any day. All right, bring it on. Let's do it. Let's let's make a pact. And let's sign an agreement and notarize it, and I'll bet you a hundred thousand real U.S. dollars. I don't got a hundred in a debate dollars. live on SFT's channel. You want to do it? I don't got money, dude. Yeah, I ain't got money, dude. I don't have money. Well, let's you make it for a little one thousand dollar bet. Then I'll tell that? you what: if you don't like me and you want me to go to hell, why don't you just give me the You're hundred thousand dollars for free? Because like Jesus said it's hard for right a rich now. man to get into heaven. So why don't you just give me that money and 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 lower my chances of You're getting to heaven? To why don't you do that already? It, it'll be a win-win. I don't win. have to tell you to go to hell. You know, then you'll, uh, you'll, you'll earn your ticket into heaven you by you know, giving me charity. All you want and then you'll make it hard for me to get into heaven by making me rich. So why don't you do that? I just came out here to make it clear. I don't have any apostles. I don't have any disciples. And I'm not some guru. I'm just a guy with a Bible, holy Bible, authorized version only. <laughs> why don't you believe. give me some of that <laughs> money? <laughs> you got $100,000? <laughs> this nutbag here... <laughs> Uh, this devil over here, this, this vermin. 
You gotta tell me what the Bible says. You're out here. Yeah, you don't know your ass from your elbow, dude. You couldn't tell me one thing about the Bible that I don't already know. Okay, so tell us in the Bible where this era is. Where is this era in the Bible or this lie in the Bible? It has to be Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 and 27. No, I want to hear the lie in the Bible. Oh, first. the lie? Is, it's Genesis yeah. 22. What does what Genesis 22 say? It's where God commands Abraham to sacrifice Isaac. Where he commands Abraham to sacrifice Isaac. So God was lying? No, that the Genesis 22 was added by corrupt priests. What's your evidence of that as far as uh, history? Uh, book or of Jeremiah. Criticism? Jeremiah is uh, my biblical evidence, you know, what's, where what's it says that? that God never commanded a human sacrifice and that it never came into his mind or never even thought of it. Okay, so... God never created a human sacrifice. He never commanded a human sacrifice. He never sacrifice. commanded a human sacrifice. Okay, and then because God commanded Yeah, yeah. So Isaac. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, what's where is the passage where it says God never commanded a human sacrifice? It's uh three it says it three times in Jeremiah. Uh the first time is Jeremiah seven thirty one. And Jeremiah the second 7. one is uh, Jeremiah nineteen six, which is probably the best one. I think you you'd probably go to there if you want the best example. <laughs> Jeremiah so uh, Jeremiah seven is talking about the temples that are being built, um, and the temples to Molech and burning their daughters in the fire, which right. I did not command, right. nor did it come to my mind. So this is this is in context here. This is talking about the places that are being built. Yeah, in, in the Valley of Hinnom. In 2 Kings 23, um, in the Valley of the Son of Hinnom. Jeremiah Correct. 31. Uh, they're, it's not referring to his command that he would give to Abraham. So what's, Well, so is, it saying, what is it saying? Uh, okay, I'll look it up. Jeremiah 19. It's saying that he did not command people to burn their sons and the daughter and daughters in the fire as a human tip, sacrifice. tribute to Molech. Oh, but Nor he, did it come to into my mind. He's talking about the tribute to so Molech. did he com, did he command is he is it saying that he didn't command them to do human sacrifices ever or just to Molech? This is this is specifically specifically talking about the, just the Molech, right? The so sons and would, the daughters who are being burned God in the fire. Command people which to I did sacrifice their children to Molech. Okay, which I so did you're not. Saying, okay, is it okay to sacrifice your children as long as it's to God? Is that what you're saying? No. Well, that's what who you're said saying. That? You know, you just said that. No, I didn't. Yes, I said, said in this passage, it's talking about people sacrificing burning their, their children, children in the fire Molech. as offerings to Baal to Molech right or to yes. Baal right? yeah so that's not so, the same as it God says that God never Abraham. commanded it or mentioned he never it. commanded this type of he sacrifice never commanded to human sacrifice Baal oh no, so it's it, okay it, no. to do it to God as long as it's, it's nothing not to, to do with human sacrifice so you're saying it's okay to sacrifice your children to God but Isn't not that? to Baal do you not understand English? No, he's making the distinction here. He's saying using, that it's on, only a on. bail. Oh, so hold they could on. do it to hold on. Um, they hold could on. do it to Zeus. They hold could on. do it. Hold on. You're using this passage to suggest that God Himself cannot command a human sacrifice from Abraham. That's not what this passage says. It's not also saying that we can ourselves sacrifice our children if we're doing it to Yahweh. That's not how it happened to Abraham. Abraham wasn't walking down the street and thought of this idea. This is what God told him to do. So God is not telling anyone to anyone today to sacrifice their own children. That's not a normative event that happened in scripture. That's a non-normative event. And, it, and it's the only time it's ever happened. And it's the only time I believe it ever will happen. 
I I also suggest, Joe, that God did not actually intend for Abraham to go through with sacrificing Isaac, which is why he stopped him. He was just doing it to show. That's fine. That's fine. But did Jeremiah, is Jeremiah saying that God never commanded a human sacrifice? He's talking about the human sacrifices that are being, that are occurring now. God has not commanded this. Right. This behavior. He said, I, Jeremiah I, 731. Answer, is Jeremiah can I, use can that I answer the dirty varmint here? You yeah, can't use me. that to suggest that what he commanded Abraham to do, that that was a violation it of this. It says that I pattern. never commanded it or mentioned it or I never didn't even come to my mind. He never even yes, thought of it. Let me show you the context. He never I, thought of human sacrifice. That's what he's saying. You are, he's have burned to. your children in offerings to Baal, something I never commanded. I never right. commanded human sacrifice. What is it that he sacrifice. never commanded? Is a it, human sacrifice. No, That's what the, what it's it talking again. about. It's Let's not talking it about to Baal. Let's read it again. Let's read it together. To it says and they, Baal. hold on, relax, relax. We're going to read it together. Reading is yeah, fundamental. Yeah. Let's read Reading 19, is fundamental. Five. Relax. And they have built the high places of Topeth. Who, yes. who is they? The Israelites. Okay. And and who who is, what did they build? They built uh, altars to burn their children okay. and the fires to so Baal. Who is he way. referring to here? The Israelites. Okay. Which is in the valley of the son of Hinnon to burn their sons yes. and daughters in the fire, which I did not command, nor did it come. So all this is saying, Varmint, is that God did not command what was occurring in right. this passage. He did not that command those, them to do right. what? He did not command them, the people in the high places of Topeth, which is in the valley of the son of Hinnon, he did not command them to throw their daughters and sons into the fire. Right. Nor did it come to his mind that that would be okay, something now, that he 22, would command them to do. Let's go to Genesis 22, verse 1, and see what it says okay, there. So this passage isn't going to work if you want to condemn God for... No, let's just go to Genesis 22. We'll compare these two. commanding Abraham verses. to sacrifice Isaac. Yeah, let's go to Genesis 22, where God tells Abraham to go to the Valley of Hinnom and burn his son in a fire. Let's go to that <laughs> verse. Is he is he talking about something that he will plan no, to do? No, it says, I never commanded that, ever, again. not to Abraham, not again. to anyone. Is he is he talking about what he would have Abraham do or ask Abraham to do later? Or is he talking about what some people have already done? Yeah, he's talking about what they're doing at that no, current no, no. moment in Jeremiah's time. And they time. have, past tense, they've already done this. They're doing yeah, this. Right. Okay, so he's not talking about he what say, he I never have, commanded it. That's the part you're missing. He it's never the word commanded, never. I never commanded, commanded human sacrifice. He never commanded them to do no, it. He I never commanded you know human what sacrifice doing. whatsoever. He was a idiot. Jeremiah 8.8 8 says that the lying pen of the scribes produces a falsehood. How can you know the book of Genesis when the lying pen of the scribes produced a falsehood? You're disgusting. No, you're disgusting. You're a fucking child sacrifice murdering psycho. You're a pagan, vile, demonic no, antichrist. You worship Molech, Kevin. You were the one trying to really? suggest that God is. Yeah, is all promoting. you guys in this panel worship Molech, you freaking devil worshipers. So this is not the same as God doing what he did. No, with it is Abraham. exactly the same as what it says. No, it is not. No, uh, you know what? Abraham to do in Genesis exactly 22. It says, go to the valley of Hinnom. You're trying and to show you the doubt of the word of God. That's what it says. When you guys even read it? The, garden, the serpent said, has God said? You're doing the same thing. Has God said? You're the one that sounds like the it's devil trying to I'm the one who on Jeremiah, the fire. God's true prophet so, here. So here's the difference, Vermin. Here's the difference from a basic uh, English understanding of, of how to read. In one instance, he commanded it. In the other instance, he did not. No, Jeremiah says, I never commanded it, ever. It talk, which I did not command. Go to Jeremiah 19.5. It, it, it repeats just it occurred. in Jeremiah 19.5 where it so, says, I never here commanded here's it. Here's a perfect example. I commanded my son to go to the store. Or I commanded him to go to the store to buy groceries. Oh, my God. Right? And... Then later, I did not command him. So you're to saying it's okay to, to burn your hold sons on, and daughters on, on, in the fire on, as long on. as it's to finish, God please. or Poseidon. Finish, as long please. as it's 
Thank you. In one instance, I'm the command is to go to the store. In another instance, I did not command it. So you cannot therefore say going to the store is evil. Going to the store is what I commanded in the first instance, and they obeyed. That means they're not doing evil. I did not command it in this case, and they're doing it. That means it's evil. God did not command this sacrifice. He commanded Abraham to sacrifice. And then as Kevin correctly states, he stopped him before he'd actually gone, went through with the command. These people were actually going, not only did he not command them, they were throwing their children in the fire and they actually went through with the procedure. So there's a difference here if you read the context and not to suggest that because child sacrifice is, 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 is something that is talked about in both passages that God is commanding child sacrifice or he's for child sacrifice. Does that make sense? I guess so. Because I didn't get any response. Who, me? You got me muted or what? No, you're not muted. Dude, Jeremiah says God never commanded a human sacrifice. Something I never nope, commanded that's not what Jeremiah or said. mentioned or did it even come to my that's mind. Not it what says. Jeremiah said. Never Let entered Jeremiah his mind. back up again. Yeah, does Hold it up. say Jeremiah here? Jeremiah 19 it five. Here? It says they have built high places to Baal on which okay. to burn their children in the fire as offerings to Baal. Something I never commanded or mentioned. Nor and did again, all right, let's go mind. to that passage. Where's that passage at? Jeremiah nineteen five. Jeremiah nineteen five. Same thing. Same problem. Yeah. You're same having. thing. Same problem you're having. The I never commanded having. a human sacrifice. No, that's not what yes, the text that's says. That's exactly what it's saying. That is not what the text says. Let's read this that's part. That's what the Let's text says. Text. That is not what the text says. Let's read wow, it again. Dude. You're actually going to read this. Let's read it again. Reading is fundamental. Don't even bother with a guy that can't read. How Just boot stupid him out. can you guys be, dude? You're really claiming God commanded a human sacrifice? Emotion is not going to work. This is no, Jeremiah. So stupid. This, this is, is the Jeremiah thing nineteen. I've ever heard in my life. This is Jeremiah nineteen five. They have built pagan shrines to Baal. Who is the they? The Israelites. Is he talking about himself? Is what, Jeremiah is God talking about himself? Jeremiah is talking, not God. Idiot. Right. So is God speaking about himself? No, it's Jeremiah okay. that's talking, not right. God. Is, right. Is God talking about himself? Is he no, saying Jeremiah that is speaking. I have built pagan shrines? Jeremiah is the one who wrote Book okay. of Jeremiah. Is, is he saying I built pagan shrines? Is no, God he's saying, saying they, he's the one that's doing this? Jeremiah is saying they built. Listen uh, carefully. Oh, is okay. God so it's saying, God speaking here. Okay. Is fine. God saying he is the one that built the shrines? Yes or no? No. Okay. And there they burnt their sons as a sacrifice to Baal. Yes. Is God saying he's the one after building these shrines, he's the one that is burning their sons no, that as I sacrifice. Didn't them. No. I never okay. So them. who is he speaking about when he's saying I never commanded such a horrible deed? He's talking about the pagans. He never commanded no, them to do that. he's talking about Israel. Exactly. He never commanded them to do that. Yeah, he never but commanded that doesn't Israel mean that do doesn't that, mean to do human that, sacrifices. That he never I never commanded, commanded Israel. I never to commanded do my, human sacrifices. I never commanded my son to do things or my daughter to do. Have this you ever commanded my, your son to do a human sacrifice? Okay, but that doesn't mean I can't test him. So you would. Right? So you did command him to do a human hold on, sacrifice. Hold on, you didn't? hold on. Wait a minute. If wait you minute. tested him, wait it's a still a command. Wait a minute. If you no, commanded him to no, do a no, human no, no. sacrifice. If I if I say to my son, son, go pick up that weed and smoke it. Right. <laughs> right? But what and if you I, had already commanded now? Wait a second. Wait a second. Just, the what, test just wait a second. What if you am already I commanded commanded him, him never to smoke weed? What if am you I already am I commanding him to do it? Let's say if you had already commanded him question. never to smoke weed. And then you tell him to smoke uh -huh. weed. 
So what's right. he going to do? He has to break one of the commandments, right? Am, am I, I right? Am I am I am I commanding him to do it? If I said, "Son, there's a pound of weed over here. Why don't you go over there and smoke it?" Am I commanding mm -hmm. him to do it? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Right. In the first instance, did God command them to do the sacrifice there? No. Okay, thank you very much. So so you so God is not commanding pagans to sacrifice he told Abraham to sacrifice to test to Abraham. No, he and didn't. then he stopped Abraham before he went through with the, no, that's a lie from with the command. No, okay? God never so commanded that's different. a human sacrifice. <laughs> Mom, that's, that is what the that's that's no, that's no, it. No, no, it was so a test. Let me uh let me ask you this. If you had commanded your son never to smoke weed, and then you came along and said, I want you to smoke that weed. Your kid the has to break does not say one never. of your commandments. Does the, the kid have to not say just never. answer me this? Does the kid have to break one of your commandments or not? It's talking about the no, I'm asking you a question, regardless of that. Does this say that God would never do such a or command such no, a I'm thing? Asking to you. His I'm asking children? you answer the question or not. It's talking about no, I'm asking you a different question, trying. separate from all this. Let's just forget that for a second. You win, okay. you won the debate. Now, let me ask you, if you commanded your son never, ever to smoke weed, mm -hmm. and then one day you came along and said, I want you to smoke weed, yeah. is your kid going to have to break one of your commandments? If, if no, he wouldn't. It would be a test to see if he would break or if he would think about breaking it. Because you would already commanded him not to right? do it. If, if, if he, his response should be, Dad, but you taught me not to do this. And I'd be right. like, wow. And I would say, right. I was, my chest would just go out what? way out <laughs> way out here, right? That's not what Abraham <laughs> did. That's what it's all about. That's right? not what Abraham did, is it? Abraham went and, yeah, he went to do no, it. No, Abraham was willing to do it and rose up early sure. the next morning, was ready to go for it. He, he wanted to okay. do it. Right. Yeah, that's the opposite of what you just said. You just said, no, I would ask, I would ask my second. father, is I, not my to father is not, me not to do this. My father is not God. Didn't, why didn't Abraham say, didn't you <laughs> command me not to murder people? You've already commanded me not to murder. So now that you've commanded me to murder my son, I got to break one of those commandments. So Abraham is at fault then, not God. So no, God is the not people God who is added not, that lie to the Bible are at fault. Okay, that's not a lie. That's God. Yes, doing it is a lie. Thing. God never commanded God... Abraham to sacrifice his son. Do you know how stupid exactly. that is? Yes, no, I've never said that. No, then according that's to you, God argument. cannot be trusted or worshipped. That's not the argument. The argument is that he. No, the did argument command is if God it. ever gives one evil commandment, okay, that means that you can again. no longer trust him ever let's, again. Let's go, over let's go over it again. No, In he's not. Case, God did command, or did he not command such a deed? He did not command a human okay. sacrifice ever. In, okay. In Abraham's case, did he command Abraham to do something horrible like kill his own no, son? No, of course not. He didn't That's command the Abraham. the stupidest thing I've ever heard. You think God commanded Abraham to sacrifice Isaac? You're so yes. stupid. What? You're the stupidest person I've ever seen. Okay, so he so he, he didn't command Abraham to sacrifice no, Isaac. No, dude, are you got to be freaking retarded? Like, sit back for a second and just think about it. You. Just think Christ, with your the way, brain. The brain. He for said, "Abraham, stay your head." Because I know, no sacrifice to his son. Reason. Hold on, you got to be so stupid. Hold because on. if, if Hold Abraham on. is willing to do it, that means Abraham is a, a evil, wicked, evil doer. So, but Perhaps. but you don't understand why he said it. He was portraying a spiritual lesson. To Abraham and to others that would read it throughout the generations. No, I, no, because that's I, the stupidest no, thing I've second. ever heard. Hang on, because what God never lesson. intended. Can I talk? God never intended for Abraham to offer up Isaac. He was testing him to see if he would listen to what he, he had said. The test. Now, he failed the hold test. Hold on. I've said like, everybody's heard your, your interpretation head. of it for two thousand years. Like, be quiet. You the new interpret. Like, he said, the real Abraham, say your you hand. The truth. Because God I knew you would not withhold your own son from me. Jill, can you mute this retard, please? <clears throat> he said, stay your hand, because I know you would not withhold your own son from me. And then God said, now listen, pay attention, I will pr provide myself a lamb. And then yeah. there was no. there was the lamb stuck in the bush. That was a That's typology stupid. of Christ. 
That's stupid. Do not lay your hand on the boy or do anything to him. Now break that was a command I told as you well. to do. All right. I'm going to tell you to do one thing, then I'm going to tell you not to do it, then I'm going to tell you to do it, then I'm going to tell you not to uh -huh. do it. So, so God is schizophrenic? Once, do so God is schizophrenic. Then he told him to go murder his son. So what is told him argument? don't murder your son. What is so your which argument? is it? What is your argument that God is schizophrenic? Because he doesn't. Yeah, your God is schizophrenic. Oh, okay, all right. Well, you, you know, you can't, your God right. is an idiot. That's fine. That's fine if you want to say that. But here no, is the command. God wow. doesn't do this. Wow. Do here is the command. Get this girl teamer out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna kick him in a minute. Take your son, <laughs> take your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love. Wow, amazing! Yeah, take how him he down was, to the valley. Of, amazing you know, how he would how he would and then go burn him in an offering. Shut up, liberal! Amazing how he would phrase it this way, Kevin. Your only son, Isaac. Yeah, your only son. He did, that's not his only son. Uh -huh. Do you guys even know he had two brothers? Ah. Of course it's his only son. No, it's not. Ah. He had Ishmael and uh, yes. Eleazar. Ishmael had to be cast out because ah. in God's eyes, uh, Isaac was his, his only, only son. son. No, wow. God loved Ishmael. Amazing. So this is this if is God didn't love Ishmael, why did he turn into such a great nation? Hey, welcome, praise. Praise is here. Your what is son. up, fellas? What are you guys talking about? About these well, guys well, is blasphemy against God. This demonic uh, blasphemers trying no, to say these, you guys, all you guys Bibles are blasphemers. <laughs> <laughs> you think God commanded Abraham to sacrifice Isaac? That's what it so, says that's here. The stupidest thing I've ever heard. In that my is life. what it says here. Yeah, that's what okay. it says. Let's that's read what it. it says. So that's what your excuse is going to be on Judgment Day when God says, "Why says? did you lie about me and tell people that I told Abraham to kill Isaac?" Take you your say, "Oh, well, the Bible said so." And your he's going to say, yeah, you're going son, to hell, you idiot. Take your son, your only son, Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah the and Bible offer him there me, God. as a burnt offering on one of the mountains, which the I Bible shall tell you. The Bible deceived me, and I believed it. Okay, so did That's God your command? your excuse is going to be on judgment day. Okay, so did God command? Because you blaspheming the God, name of God oh, here. You're done. You're done. So did God yeah, command I'm, Abraham I'm to sacrifice leave, his own son? Freaking blasphemers are idiots. Okay. Did I, did God command Abraham to sacrifice his own son? Did he? Did he? Yes or no? Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, I knew it. I knew. It. I told you I kick him, but not by kicking him, right, Kevin? You can kick the heretics. I don't understand them. them. They the claim to believe in the God of the Bible, but then when you show them the God of the Bible, oh no, that part's not true. Like you don't, <laughs> I don't like that part. <laughs> Yes, God did command Abraham to do a, a disgusting deed. Yes. So when he's talking about the sacrifices of Baal, he's saying, I didn't have any part of that. I didn't command that. Here he obviously is to prove to, to show us a greater reality that is Jesus Christ. That would that's a foreshadowing of Jesus Christ. God is is probably better than Shakespeare in foreshadowing, isn't he? Your only Amen. his only son. Your only son, Isaac. Whom you love, I want you to sacrifice him. He's it, this is this is foreshadowing um, of of him sacrificing his son, right? That's not the case with the pagan shrines to be oh, um, dirty. I know you thought that argument would last, but not here. And you see, the problem is that he was accusing us of being of the devil, but he was doing exactly what the devil did in the garden to um, Eve. When, yes. when he was to doubt the word of God, the snake said, hath God said? Yeah. That's what wow. he's doing. Has God said? And he's trying to rip parts of the scripture wow. out. That doesn't belong there. He's Imagine. the one that has to the devil. He's of his father, the devil. Imagine someone hearing him and saying, you know what? Maybe I can sacrifice my child. Because, you know, God did, to, you know, act, tell Abraham or uh, imagine someone here. That, that is that. Wow. That is so true. Hath God said you can sacrifice your own child. <laughs> That's creepy. Don't let that guy come on here again. I don't know who that guy was, but don't let him come on here again. He creeps me out worse than uh, uh, Joe Biden. <laughs>